Good morning and happy Sunday everyone. For the people that are new to the channel, we are Strick and friends and we are living on a tropical island. Yeah, we certainly are guys. We've been out here for about 20 episodes now and we're living from the land and the sea. So we're catching things like big giant mud crabs, uh, big giant crayfish, various fish. Some days are more successful than others. Uh, but either way, we're learning and we're having a lot of fun out here. So uh, it's been one hell of a ride so far today though. What I'm very excited about is there's very low current today. Uh, and that means we can get out further off the drop off than we've really been here before and target some deeper water and some bigger fish hopefully that's gonna be pretty cool eh, friend yeah yeah there's a lot of bird action i can see so it's gonna be fun yeah let's get straight into it let's do it guys <laughs> oh this is awesome hey friend i've just spotted a pod of dolphins that are just out off the reef edge here apparently they're 300 meters away and um <laughs> it's pretty amazing they're all pretty playful they're all just playing with each other there's some really little ones in there like babies 300 meters it's not much we can swim out there yeah i reckon i reckon we get this drone in yeah gear up and then swim out there let's do it this would be epic all right let's go look at this dji if you're watching your drone battery is about to pop out not good enough mate <laughs> How cute is this turtle? This turtle doesn't want the salad that I got for her. But she's eating another another type of seaweed. Gonna go up current so then I can drift back where Jack is. Hello you. Ooh, there's a cabo. I just got distracted with the feathers turtle. Yeah? yeah? What kind of a turtle? Really? Yeah. Let's go off the drop off. Yeah, let's do it. Hey friend, there's a really big trout down deep here. He's quite deep, but I'm going to make a dive on him. Go ahead. Oh, 
Well you know? done. Oh man, that's a beautiful coral trout. That's awesome. Wow, nice one, nice big one from the depths. All right, that swim was absolutely breathtaking. We have never interacted with the dolphins like that. It was just, um, my heart is still pumping. What about yours? Yeah, it was amazing, <laughs> hey. I've just never seen them that friendly. I know, so most exciting now, I'm gonna redeem myself with the underground oven. So stick around and I'll show you how I do it this time. <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> So I'm gonna get the fire going in the hole and when the coal is good we're just gonna wrap the trout in the banana leaves we've got cover it with coals and cover it with rocks You've got some exciting news dear friend Yeah, yeah, for all the ladies and boyfriends that have been asking for it my online store is finally open there's gonna be bikinis and lots more. Everything is made from natural and recycled materials. So have a look, see if you like it. 10% of the profit is gonna be donated to charity. So hope you like it. Yeah, I'll certainly be getting on there um, before your birthday and getting you a, <laughs> Thank uh, you. a new bikini. <laughs> People have been complaining, I always wear the same bikini. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, very exciting, friend. Well done. Yeah, thank you. The species of coral trout we get here, these guys are called a passion fruit coral trout. Um, and the reason being, look at all their dots are kind of larger than a normal coral trout or a common coral trout. They look like passion fruit seeds. The other name for them, they get called a square tail trout. And you can see their tail is, uh, is very kind of square. So that's the two names for them. They taste just as good as a common coral trout and uh, absolutely beautiful eating. The other interesting thing about this guy, he's got a mouthful. He's just had a big feed for lunch. We'll see what he's been feeding on here. They can eat things up to half the size of their whole body. They are really greedy guts. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy how good their smell is. Now we're gonna wrap the coral trout in banana leaves, put it on the coal, coals on top, rocks on top, and let the oven do its job. For the people that haven't watched this previously, when you hit the banana leaf up, then it changes consistency so that it doesn't erupts and it doesn't crack. How's the coal base, you reckon, Fran? Very hot. Hot coal base? Yeah. That's what we're after. So that's had a cranking fire for uh, about 45 minutes, you reckon? Yeah. So I'm trying to cover it all up so the heat stays in there. And, um,. I think we're also gonna get a fire going on top just to keep the heat underneath. Yay. Nice bit of heat in there now. We'll just load him up, leave him for I reckon 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll uh, open him up and see how we went. <laughs> I just really wanted to do that. So do you reckon it's done, Fran? How do you reckon the oven's gone? Yeah, I reckon it's done. We'll go check it now. Sounds good. Wish us luck. Mmm, 
and smells delicious. That was coconut water. It smells <laughs> so good. Ugly, but it smells good. It smell, does smell good, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, nice reveal, friend. Well, let's peel the skin off. Oh, oh. nice. Wow. Wow. That looks good. Well done, friend. Smells delicious. There was definitely enough heat in there this time. Yeah, for sure. So that was the top wow. side. So it looks amazing. Can I dig in for it? Yeah. That looks so good. All right, well done, Fran. Bon appetit. Well done. Redemption on the oven. Yeah, for sure. Got a little bit of coconut to go with our coral trout as well. Yum. How is it? Good. Mm -hmm. I really like when we put the coconut into the banana leaf as well. Yeah, it gives it a whole extra flavor. Look at that. Yeah. Coral trout is by far my favorite eating fish. Mm. And um, when you cook it like this, you really get the full flavor of the trout. It's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Well done, Prem. Slicing is good. Mm. Stayed nice and juicy, hasn't it? Yep. I know it's rude to talk with your mouth full, guys, so we're going to um, love you and leave you. Thanks for watching the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next Sunday. Give uh, Fran's new oven a thumbs up, guys. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. <laughs> See you next Sunday.